What's going on YouTube? Maximus Aquatics here. Today I want to talk a little bit about tips on buying African cichlids. If you're new to the hobby, just starting out, offer a little bit of advice on choosing retailers, choosing reputable sellers to help you get your tank where you want it. Okay, so I remember when I first got back into the hobby, I used to keep Oscars, but I wanted to jump into African cichlids, and I had done some research online and decided on peacocks. So when I went to the LFS to look at their peacock selection, the guy convinced me that Mbunas would be a better purchase. So I kind of went with his word, he seemed like he knew what he was talking about. And I bought several Mbuna. When I got home, I started researching the breeds that I had and quickly realized that I had some of the meanest fish in my tank and that was not what I wanted. So the guy kind of burned me, at least in my opinion. But what I recommend is, first off, research the fish that you want to keep. Use reputable websites that are providing the right information and stick with it. You know, don't let someone convince you otherwise. If you've done the proper research, you should be confident in your selection. You know, choosing the retailer is a, is a big step. You know, if you have someone local that sells the fish that you want, you know, ask them questions. Ask them their quarantine if they import fish in, what their quarantine process is like, and definitely be on the same page as far as their return policy in case something doesn't work out. If you get a sick fish or you know he dies in a matter of days, or if it ends up being a female. I've bought countless males that ended up being females. Some of them I'm still kind of stuck with because it is hard to get rid of females if you cannot find someone that's looking to breed them. So do a lot of research on the retailer you're going with and don't be afraid to ask questions. That will just avoid problems in the future. Another big tip is research YouTube and talk to a lot of the people on YouTube that are making videos that have been in the hobby for a while, they can steer you in the right direction as far as buying from reputable sellers that offer quality fish, you know, through their personal experiences, they can take a lot of the legwork out for you and steer you in the right direction. So YouTube and the people in the aquatic community are a huge help in pointing you in the right direction. You can talk to them, you know, about the quality of fish that they've received, if they had any problems. And it's, it's just a godsend, really, the community that's on YouTube. One thing you want to remember, too, is if you're buying smaller fish, although cheaper, they can oftentimes be hard to sex. If they're, you know, smaller than three inches, they may not be sexually mature enough to decipher whether they are male or female. If you end up buying fish and with the intent that they are male and they end up not being male, you need to have a plan as far as what you're going to do with those fish. Are you going, you're probably going to have to set up another tank and hopefully you have resources near you or available to you where you can sell them. I don't recommend dumping them in public waterways. I've heard of a lot of people doing that and it's just a bad idea altogether. So, you know, look at that when you're looking at the prices and things. Remember, there, there is a chance that you could end up with a female. And get that information from the seller as well as far as what the policy is, as far as that goes. Another tip I can offer that I've been kind of testing out in my show tank is when purchasing your cichlids, whether they're peacocks, haps, and bunas, 
watch purchasing fish that are very similar in color, shape. I've even been trying to avoid the same family. I've noticed in the past, you know, a red empress and a tangerine tiger, you know, a protomelis. They seem to have more issues when they come from the same family in regards to aggression. So if you kind of see in my tank here, the majority of them are different. They don't have a lot of similarities and that does seem to help with the actual aggression issues that you commonly have keeping African cichlids. Quarantine is probably one of the most important tips I can give you. You've got to quarantine the fish that you bring in. Have a tank set up that's cycled and ready for these new arrivals. Do not dump them in your show tank. You know, you buy two or three new fish and you wipe out, you know, 10, 20, 30, however, you, however many you have in your show tank, you're, you're taking a large risk at adding those new fish to your existing aquarium. A lot of times they're stressed from the travel, which can bring out disease and sickness. They need a break from the travel. Quarantine tanks are good for that, where they can just kind of rest, take it easy for a while. I recommend quarantining for at least three weeks. In my opinion, that's how I do it. Watch for any kind of illness, not eating, and once everything's cleared, then add them to your show tank. As I said before, reach out to YouTube. It's a great community out here of people that will help you make sound decisions, do the research on the species you're wanting to keep, and have a game plan in case something goes wrong. I hope you found this information useful, and thanks for watching.